So this is an example of just a basic page. And in order to see this, what we can do is we're going to save this into a folder. And I've saved this into my examples file folder. And if I come into that folder where that file is saved and I double click on it, then the page will load. And you can see here, main content goes here. And if I right click it and go to view page source, I can see that same code we just made, right? Um, so a couple things that are really important. One, I want everybody to have your home or your starter file, whatever page you want to be your landing page, I want it to be called index.html. Um, and the HTML is just a file extension to make sure that the browser knows it can open it up and it's going to render it out into HTML. Um, so inside of an editor like this, you're going to go um, just file and down to new. And then you're going to type this all out and you're going to go to file and save as and make sure you save it as um, an index.html. And then once you have that, you can open up your editor and you can double click on it and it should open up in your default browser. Now, if for some reason you do get an extension that says index.html.html, that's going to be a problem. Um, you can see that disappeared there. Typically that happens is when someone on Windows 10 um, is, has um, file extensions turned off. And so you can see here that um, right here, there's a little tutorial I found to show file extensions. And you really just want to go in, um, right click on the control panel, appearance personalization, folder options, or file explore ex option. Go to the view tab, go here and turn file extensions for known, or sorry, make sure that's unchecked for hide extension known file types. I just get a lot of students that, for whatever reason, turn in this .html, .html, and it's mostly because it's hiding the extension. So if you have that problem, make sure you resolve it that way. So again, good example, and this is what we call viewing your file locally, and you can see it doesn't start out with an HTTP, colon slash slash, it starts out with a file, colon slash slash slash, and then goes out to my desktop, looks at my example folder, and then um, and this is a space right here. You'll see that using spaces in your folder names and file names is really um, kind of a no-no. So avoid doing that, um, you know, at this point. Um, and it's also probably a good idea to keep your folder names all lowercase too. Just kind of keeps them the same and creates a nice little system for you. But besides that, um, you can see I have this index.html that's being opened up there. And... Uh, yeah, so that's a really simple way to, to create a folder, create a file, save your file, and view your file, and, and test it locally. And we'll show how to upload them to your server later.